The most expensive road project in state history is nearing completion. And today we've got an up close look at the I-4 Ultimate Express toll lanes that will soon open up to drivers. Western News reporter Greg Fox is live in Seminole County for us. And Greg, the state is now saying how much these tolls will cost. Stuart, they are, but keep this in mind and everyone should listen to this carefully. The initial toll rate is just that. It's going to be temporary. Remember when SunRail opened up, it was free for a while and then they started charging you. In the same way, there's going to be an initial much lower toll rate. It will go up substantially and inside those lanes that are just beyond that beige barrier, yes, it will be the most expensive uh, toll in Central Florida. You're looking at the driver's view along the I-4 Ultimate Express lanes that are set to open as early as January. The state won't reveal an exact date because it first has to finish testing the overhead electronic signs that will tell drivers in the general use or free lanes how much it costs depending on changing traffic conditions. You have the managed lanes that are right here in the middle of I-4, as well as the general use lanes that are always going to exist here on I-4, adding just another transportation choice here in Central Florida. As drivers in the general use lanes are driving by the express lanes and wondering when they open, they're also interested in knowing exactly how much it's going to cost from end to end. FDOT says the tolls will initially be a set price per segment. The maximum price to travel all 21 miles will cost about 17 cents per mile. That works out to $3.50 if you're traveling east from Universal and $3 if you start in Longwood. If the price stayed that way, it would still be more expensive than other local toll roads. For those with SunPass or ePass transponders, the turnpike charges between 7 and 10 cents per mile. CFX, roughly 10 to 12 cents per mile. In Miami, I-95 express lanes will cost $1.50 per mile during peak. A traffic study will be conducted potentially for months after the lanes open to determine the maximum amount drivers will be charged during busy rush hours. So we don't have a predetermined time frame. Uh, essentially, the, the congestion and the data that we collect will determine when we transition to dynamic tolling in the future. And what about drivers that don't have a transponder? Of course, there's no way to pay cash in these express lanes because there's no toll booths. That's called toll by plate. A photograph of your license plate will be taken. You'll be billed in the mail plus a service charge. Coming up all new on West 2 News at 6, we'll look at safety measurements along this new highway. Live in Longwood, Greg Fox, West 2 News.